Hey everyone. So in this video, I'm going to cover the basic regional terms um, relating to the human body. So it's super important that when you're going into anatomy, you have a good grasp of these terms because as you move on to each body system, you're going to see um, these root words in these terms are going to come up again and again. So if you know them now, um, it's going to really help you down the line. So beginning with the head and neck, the entire head can be referred to as the cephalic region and the neck is the cervical region. We can then break the head down into even smaller regions. Frontal is pertaining to the forehead and occipital to the back of the head. Then there's the orbital, nasal, and oral regions, which are pertaining to the eyes, nose, and mouth, respectively. Then the chin, um, for some unknown reason, is the mental region. The ear is otic, and buccal refers to the cheek. So I'm saying buccal um, for years. I did say buccal, and a lot of people will say buccal um, in healthcare, but I was informed by a dentist it is buccal, and I did double check. Buccal is the correct pronunciation. So as weird as it sounds to me, it's now the buccal region. Moving on to the shoulder and arm, um, so your shoulder blade is the scapula, so around the shoulder blade is the scapular region. The upper arm is brachial, and below the elbow is antibrachial, and the entire hand is the manus. Now, um, so the entire shoulder blade, that's the scapular region, but just referring to the highest point on the shoulder blade, that is the acromial region. And then from the posterior view, the back of the elbow is the olecranal region but the front of the elbow, the bend of the elbow, is the antecubital region. So the antecubital region, that's the region um, when you have your blood taken, they're usually taking it from the antecubital vein in this antecubital region. Moving on to the hand, the wrist bones are the carpals. The bones of the hand are the metacarpals. The fingers, um, that's all the digital region. But the thumb gets its own name. The thumb is the pollux. But then if we're just looking at the anterior side of the hand, that is the palmar region. So moving on to the abdomen and chest, the entire chest is the thoracic region, and then below the diaphragm, um, which is a wall of muscle, is the abdominal region, and then below that is the pelvic region. Now in the thoracic region, is the sternal region because your sternum is your breastbone and then the mammary and pectoral regions so pectoral is more related to just the chest in general whereas mammary is more related to the breast um, the axillary region um, axillary is related to the armpit 
and the inguinal region, which sometimes is called the groin, and it's kind of just the area where your legs are meeting your body. So on the back um, is the vertebral region, but the vertebral region can be broken up into even smaller regions. So just to the neck, as we said before, is the cervical region. Then there's the thoracic region. And then the lowest part is the lumbar region. And then below that is the tailbone, which is the sacral region. Then on the muscular model, we can see the gluteal region. Most people know that um, when you say your glutes, you're talking about your butt muscles. And then the coxal region is specifically related to the hip. So moving on to the leg and foot, everything above the knee can be referred to as the femoral region, and everything below the knee is the crural region, and the foot itself is the pedal region. Then the front of the knee, the kneecap, is the patellar region. But the posterior knee, so the back of the knee, is the popliteal region. Now before I said um, the entire leg below the knee is the crural region, but if we're just talking about the lateral side of the leg, so the pinky toe side of the leg, that's the fibular region. and just the back of the leg, the calf muscle area, is the sorrel region. Now, in the hand, um, the carpals are the wrist bones. In the foot, the tarsals are the ankle bones. And then outside of the tarsals in the foot, whoops I forgot we have a special tarsal um, your heel bone is the calcaneus so the area of your heel is the calcaneal region and then outside of your tarsals is the metatarsals and then just like in the hands the fingers that's the digital region same thing with the toes. The toes are also another digital region. And then your big toe has its own name, um, the hallux. And then the bottom of the foot is the plantar region. Um, a lot of people know that region because um, a wart on the bottom of your foot is a plantar wart. All right, so that about wraps it up for regions. Um, my advice when learning this is, so your brain can only remember five to seven new things at a time. So try to break everything down into groups of five to seven things. Um, become comfortable with those terms, then move on to the next five to seven things. So when I say become comfortable, um, you should be able to sit there and remember, you know, point at your head, say frontal, point at your mouth, say oral, point at your ear, say otic. When you can remember them pretty well, um, just off the top of your head, you're ready to move on to the next group of five to seven things. Once you get those five to seven things down, um, then you go back, you repeat the first five to seven things before you move on to your next group of five to seven things. 
Just keep doing that over and over, and before you know it, you're done. You know everything. All right, well, hope that was helpful. Have a great day, and have fun learning.